Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Orlando, Florida with, uh, well, this idiot right here, Liberty Troll, as he, uh, well, tries to film inside of a mental health facility and, well, ends up getting trespassed for his trouble. You know what, dude? If you want access to a mental health facility, I'm sure that can be arranged, but they may not want you to leave for at least 72 hours. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Face coverings recommended. Thank you. Do How are you? Open? No, no, we'll walk in. Oh, so we actually don't take walk-ins. Okay, I'm not. I'm here to take pictures and video of the open areas, like the lobbies, corridors, entrances, that sort of thing. Let me double check. Okay. With who? The, the, with my supervisor. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm What's allowed. To, I already know I'm allowed to. What's your name? <laughs> I don't want to give that up. Do I have to give up my my? personal information to come in the building? No. Just no. the accessible areas. Be, yeah, yeah. This is just a mental health association, so I just want to make sure that... Yeah, it's a public it's building. Okay. Sure. It's okay. Okay. You can verify that. I'll wait here. Okay. Well, I've got a couple questions for you, you smooth brain frauditor. If you know you're allowed to do this, then why the hell is the door locked to begin with? Shouldn't that be an indicator that, well... It's a restricted access area and that this is a medical facility, more of a mental health facility, which means HIPAA laws apply and therefore you can't take any videos in there because you'll be risking confidential information being leaked out to the public. No, he didn't take any of that into consideration because, well, he thinks it's his absolute right to see that confidential information. Okay. Can I close the door? Oh, do you mind if I just wait right here then, since that's a lobby? Um, I'm, okay. not gonna, I'm not gonna wander okay. around uh, into any restricted areas. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Okay, yeah. They're right here, Coming. this is a lobby. Of what? Oh. Uh, just the accessible areas. Public, I just go in the public buildings and gather content. So there would just be the lobby because we have clients that have sessions going on right now. So right, where are those held? In these rooms here? Just this lobby would be it. Yeah, because this is, this is where we have counseling. Okay, yeah, then I'm just going to get the lobby then. Sure, and, um, yeah, we just redecorated. Do you yeah. like it? Um, yeah, I mean, it's... I'd probably push this out a little bit so you can walk through it a little better. Other yeah. than that, yeah, it looks as far as I can tell. Um, what services do you have for the public in here? We're mental health facility for people that don't have insurance we provide um counseling okay cool yeah. um in order to enter the building typically how does uh, a member of the public typically uh, able Just to get through in that door. well yeah i mean they do they an appointment. Oh. did you hear that you dumbass frauditor she said that you can enter this building when you have an appointment do you have any mental health concerns that warrant you getting an appointment for the this place probably not but if being a frauditor was a, definitely a mental health issue, well then, you would probably be able to get an appointment here. But until then, buzz off. Five minutes later. You cannot take pictures here. This is private, this is a mental health clinic, and mm -hmm. this is private. This is not a public building, it's a mental health facility. So in here, mm -hmm. any picture you take, you're violating HIPAA. So if your video now, mm -hmm. it's inappropriate and it's against the law. Well, is it HIPAA for employees? Yes. Yeah, it's not for members are of you the public. A, are you a... I'm not an employee. No, it's, it is for patients and everybody that works here. So if you don't I, leave, well, I'm going to call security. Well, I don't work here, man. I need you to leave or I'm calling can security. I, can I respond to what you just said? No. And so, if you're... What is your name? What's your name? No, what's your name? Who are you? Would you please get my phone so we can yeah, call 911 no. because this is a mental health facility? You're giving me directives. You... I don't know who you are, man. Obviously, you work here, I think. But, I mean, who are you? Thank you. You need to de-escalate a little bit. I'm just asking questions. Do you guys receive grants from the government? 
And what does that have to do with anything, dude? Because, well, they've asked you to leave several times because this is not the place for you to be because it is a mental health facility. Therefore, a uh, Florida trespassing law takes effect. And I know what you're going to say. That's a secondary offense. No, dude. They can ask you to leave, and then you can get trespassed, and then you have to leave the property. Otherwise, you will be arrested. It's as simple as that, dude. Why overcomplicate this crap? The location is 901 West Church Street, Orlando. I am in a um, in Building 3 in the Department of Health. This is a mental health clinic. There is a person in here who refuses to leave. He's recording everything on video right now. So you're on speaker and he's right here. He needs to leave and he is insisting on taking videos and recording employees. And this is also where we have patients walking around. He refuses to leave. Can you please send the police or the sheriff immediately and get him out? So he's actually videotaping me now and I'm sure he'll put it all over the internet, which also you do not have my permission to record video or post this okay, anywhere. Do you want him trespassed? He's, yes. There is no privacy in public, man. It's not an emergency. He's white and he's probably about five, seven, eight. He'll probably say five, nine. He's got blue eyes. He's got um, kind of not, not um, shaved, kind of scruffy a little bit around. And he's wearing a blue shorts and kind of dirty white sneakers. Well, ma'am, let me give you a better fitting description for this moron right here. The her. Affliction. A t-shirt and it says Affliction. He's, he's talking right here. Would you please tell her your name? Hi ma'am, how are you doing today? Good, how are you, sir? What's your name? I'm doing good. I'd, I'd rather not identify myself right net right this moment. Um he, but I'm, you, I'm this is a mental health facility. Please send the police immediately. Ma'am, could, ma could you could you Could you Ma'am, could you He's wearing a gray can I, a, a gray t-shirt that says Affliction. Affliction, Affliction, and it has a picture of what is Ma'am, don't, don't touch me. Do not touch me. It has a picture of an okay, eagle. Any weapons, any guns or knives? I would not know. You just, I would not you just know because I'm not touching my hand. him. Unwanted Do touching. Any? I don't see it. He's got. Okay. I don't see it, but it doesn't. I don't know what he has. Can I speak to her? Him? I'll tell her what she wants to know. Ma'am. Pardon? Yes. Yes, we're in it. We're in. Okay. We're in a government yes, and our building. Our door faces Church Street, and I am here at the front door, inside. A, a public building. Yeah. Okay. We have a call to get officers out there. You can let them know what's going on when they get there. Thank you. Well, you decide to play f around and find out, and uh, well, you're about to find out the uh, hard way, you blue and turd sniffer. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hello. Oh, hey, how's it going? Something going on? Um. I don't know. What do they say? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Can I just get your name and badge number? Police? Oh, hi. You. <laughs> I'm talking yes. to you. He has been recording me. He refuses okay. to leave. He's going on this rant. And the police are here, so I can get off with you. Thank you. A rant? No problem. Bye-bye. You've been okay. the one doing This is a mental... Yes. Yes. Okay. And is there a way for me to get all of this that's being... He's currently being recorded on? off of his phone so it's not posted he's already okay. got my identification and he this is a mental health facility it's a public I mean, this is private it's a public building man okay um can i talk to you outside sure okay. yeah no problem i'll wait for you outside i'll walk out the door in just a second i'm going to talk to them first Okay. Uh, can I just get your name, badge number? Officer Rendon, three four five five six. Thank you. Oh, that was a big mistake on your part, Frauditor. You should have never agreed to go outside because now you're not ever going to go back in. Now, this video is close to an hour long, and he's going to spend most of it arguing about the finer points of frauding outside, but we're not gonna watch all that now. So let's just go ahead and skip to the next section before he gets trespassed, shall we? And actually, if you don't mind, I'd rather wait here because I want to see what they, what they say. First, just wait out there for me and then I'll go back outside. Well, you. I'd rather just wait in here if you don't mind because I want to hear what they're gonna say because that's why I'm recording at this point. It's for, my, it's for my own protection. Okay. You know what I mean? Just if in case they inflate you're, things. You're, you're or... getting trespassed either way, so you can't be inside the building. I'm getting trespassed? Oh, okay. Yes. So you've already, can I get your supervisor out here, please? Sure. Requesting supervisor. I want to speak to your... Yes. 
Hey, can I get your name and badge number, please? Uh, Salazar three four seven one three. All right, thank you. And you, who are you, sir? What's your name and badge number? Thank you. Just ten fourteen for sixty nine, or see if. Uh, uh, Let me just take a couple steps back so you're not too close to my camera. Um, yeah. So what are they saying? I have no idea. I just showed up. Okay. Yeah, I'm just uh, in a public building. This is a government public building, correct, guys? I'm. I don't know. No, this is a public building. Taxpayer funded, right? Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! I have no idea. I don't know. Well, it's own boy Orange County, right? I would have to look at the public property appraisers. Yeah. It says Orange County Health Center. Possibly. Like I yeah. said, I would have to look it up. I don't know. Yeah. So they, so basically, they left me. They let me inside the building, and the other lady said it's perfectly fine for me to film in the lobby. I never went anywhere else other than the lobby. So. The other lady came out hot, and she was uh, barking orders at me, wouldn't identify herself, so she immediately called the police, and I said, all right, well, I'll wait here until the police get here. <laughs> That's pretty much all that happened. So what can we help you with? What's that? So what can we help you with? Um, I mean, I don't need any help. Okay. I mean, what I, would, what I would like you guys to do is just make sure you, you know, uphold your oath today. I'm just exercising, you know, my const participating in constitutionally protected activity. That's all. Okay. We'll sell you camp film. Yeah. In public spaces and public buildings. Okay. So... Not a big deal. Like a dog chasing its tail, he just goes out with all the circular reasoning he can bring out and well, it doesn't really get him anywhere. I mean, it's a, just a big waste of time. 40 minutes to an hour or something like that. I mean, you would be better off trying to look for a job with that amount of time, but you know what? Something tells me that he wouldn't be able to find one anyway. Many, many minutes later. Trespass is a secondary crime the area. and has to be attached to a primary crime, which I'm not, I'm not breaking any walls. Who told you that? Uh, officer. No, no, no. Who told you that trespassing is a secondary crime? Like, where are you getting that from? It's a law. No. Oh, trespass, it has to be, there has to be a primary crime. Mm -hmm. Crime. Because you can't trespass somebody from a from a public building if they're not breaking the law. Okay. Okay. So you my can, question They're, they're asking you to leave. Yeah, I mean, it's a public building, I'm not okay. breaking laws. But you just said yourself, you're over here, you, you have no intent to do, like, this is a clinic, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, like, are you sick? Do you Are you trying to get any help, treatment, <laughs> anything that a clinic will need? You, like, anything that will give you a, a reason to be A reason to be here, other than just you just want to film? Um, I mean, I understand you're trying to film, and that's fine. I mean, I see what you're saying according to yeah. that. But imagine you work there, and you see someone, like, what are you doing here? And you have no legitimate purpose of being well here. I, I explain I myself I yeah i understand that you want to record and, and that's but do you see how it's concerning to someone who works there oh yeah you certainly do follow the uh, fraudulent script to the letter saying that trespassing is a secondary crime well unfortunately that script was written by a complete moron for morons. So join the frauditing club of morons who don't even bother to do the slightest bit of research. I mean, it's so easy to look up these laws, you pathetic little man-child. Well, so again, what I'm doing is I'm engaged in constitutionally protected activity. That's if fine. she's that's, refusing me, that, that's go, legitimate business. Yeah. If she's refusing me business, she's violating my rights. Okay, go complain to her supervisors. I mean, I'm just here to keep the peace going. Okay. I understand done. you're professional peacekeepers. Yep. yep. That's all we're done. So yep. as of today you're gonna to be trespassed from the park right here and there. Could I get a copy of the trespass? Yes. Do you have your ID on you by any chance? Uh no, I'm not I'm not carrying my ID. I'm not carrying ID. Okay. I, I prefer not to be on the my you personal information to be on the trespass. You you too, thank you. You can't come back for a year, you'll be subject to arrest, okay? That includes this whole area of their property, so you have a good day, sir. Can I get a copy of the trespass? I'm not required by law to give my ID though okay, for a trespass. Copy, do you want a copy of the empty document? What was that? Do you want a copy of the empty document? I just want something that says, you know, this is the parameters of your trespass and this is how long. Yeah, I understand why you want that uh, paper. It's so you can file a fake frivolous lawsuit and try to get some go away money. But I wonder how far that will go, considering that, well, you were asked to leave on several occasions. And, uh, well, it is a mental health facility, so, yeah, I doubt it'll go anywhere. So you can't go, so, like, to what point am I not allowed to, uh, so if I went into that side over there, the other side of this, this department, am I not allowed to do that? The thing is 901 West Church Street, so you're trespassing 901 West Church I mean, usually police officers provide a trespass right. notice. There's, there's, there's verbal, the, the 
was verbal, there is written, mm -hmm. right? And then when you look at the trespass after warning statute, it's basically actual communication. So actual communication can be provided by written, by verbal, or by placard signs, that kind of stuff, you know? So what she's saying is based on the person that she's spoken to there, she wants to trespass you on Orange County's behalf, mm -hmm. right? And so this is us saying, hey, on behalf of them, we're letting you know on behalf of her, she doesn't want to engage with you, that you are trespassed verbally. Yeah, but what law, what law did I break though? Oh man, this just shows you how much of a dumbass you truly are. Why don't you try actually reading the statute and understanding that you don't need to commit an actual crime to be trespassed? I mean, you did violate their HIPAA regulations, so therefore they wanted you off the property. They asked you to leave, but you refused to do so, and therefore you were trespassed. So do you see how it's escalates your lame brain moron but of course you can't see it because your head is so far up your ass that you can't see the light of day and the only thing you can smell is the uh, your own farts so here's an idea i want to hear a loud thunderous pop as well you pull your head out of your ass and actually take a look at the uh, statutes before you open your damn mouth again and make yourself look like a total fool so at any rate guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?